G'day, mate, and welcome back to Capital Ministry with me, JD. In our last episode, we got a whole bunch of things done. We set up automation, some proper automation, with some proper bells for our, well, mechanical parts, uh, electronics, construction parts one, and construction parts two. Also, we got maintenance done at the same time. Oh, we also added up more D boys to make sure we can start uh, leveling out the train so we have a little bit more places to build in our, well, pass. We're on the You Shall Not Pass map, which means spaces of tight, which means you need to come up with ingenious ways to get around some of the um, map limitations until we can get into major terraforming. Also, in our last episode, we started getting a whole bunch of, well, wood sorted out and stored up, and we sent out Mr. Shippy Shippy to go repair the oil rig, and also to make sure we had a cargo ship, because I need to get a cargo ship up and running before too long, because we're going to run out of oil on the island, which is on the topic of today's episode. Today's episode, I need to do a few things. First thing I need to do is I need to make sure everything is running fine. At least I think it is. Also, we have a small food problem, which means I need flat area on the island, which I don't really have. And I also need to get into power generation because at the moment I'm burning diesel to make power, which is costing our crude oil, which I don't have much of, which leads us back to, I need to get advanced diesel running and also power generation. There's a few things that are interlinked and today I need to tackle some of those problems. So with uh, that out of the way, I need to ask the very important question, of course, being you're in episode six of a Let's Play. Have you clicked subscribe? You should have clicked subscribe by now. Like it's, it's past you. You should have really have clicked subscribe by now because well, this series is not gonna be ending anytime soon, especially with the map I've chosen. As always, so every episode, I like to thank those that go above me on, those that choose to support the channel. And today, I need to thank uh, the wonderful uh, Gary Stolk. Yeah, Gary Stolk. Also, I need to thank the wonderful uh, Shock Rider for both being wonderful YouTube members, both choosing to support the channel, uh, both being lovers of the content. I also should mention at the same time, well, if you are feeling a little bit of guilt, just a tiny bit of guilt for using Adblocker and you wish to support the channel, there is a YouTube membership tier that won't get a vehicle named after you. I am going through the list slowly, but getting a couple of vehicles named every episode. But there is another tip, the absolution from Adblocker tier, and that is if you are feeling any guilt, any guilt whatsoever about your use of Adblocker and you wish to support the channel, also get early access to videos. Uh, that one is um just one dollar. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I need to thank both of you two for becoming YouTube members. I also need to apologize because we're ripping you off this job. Yeah, uh, I'm also going to get a new excavator who will come along and do that job for you. Uh, what I need to do is I need to get on top of the coal problem. Yeah, uh, we have a coal problem. It's a small problem. It's a minor problem. Uh, the problem is I don't have any of it. So I need to sort that problem now. Uh, and you guys are driving through there. I don't care. I'm going to rip up those tiles. Okay. All right. Uh, that's the first thing I need to sort. I uh, also need to redesignate this to be a little bit larger so you guys can all get in here and work together. You're going to be doing coal. Uh, Nicholas is also going to be doing coal. Uh, Gary, coal, please. Uh, Shock Rider, you're the dirty boy. You're in charge of dirt. Yeah. I do need somebody just to generally clear up the area. Also, at the same time, well, make sure that any dirt that is in the way can be removed. Please do not knock over that pipe. I'm going to be very uh, unimpressed if you manage to knock over the pipe. Uh, also, yeah, rip up the bushes. Just, just clear them out one at a time. Cool. All right, so that's the first problem I need to sort. Second problem I need to sort is, uh, well, construction parts. Construction parts and other construction-related problems. I uh, Actually, no, it's still cold. Uh, we'll give it five minutes. We'll give it five minutes. All right, uh, next thing I need to sort out is, actually, no, next thing I need to sort out is uni. So uni, I don't have much, okay? My income is 0.03, uh, and I sort of want to unpause the beacon. So we're going to unpause the beacon, which means I need to have 10 months worth of uni, which also means for the next 10 months, I need to lose one uni per month, which means I need to come in here and I need to turn some things off. So I'm going to turn off growth boost. I'm also going to turn off growth pause. I'm also going to turn off plenty of food because we're down at 18 months worth of food and that is not a good sign. Uh, somebody asked in the comment section, I forgot to write down who it was. Can you trade with a village if you don't have any uh, access to the trading dock? And can I go to that menu? Loans, uh, and if I pick something, potatoes, lots of potatoes, and I type in any number here, the answer is no. Uh, so, the good news is I managed to pay off my last debt before I broke the trading dock. The bad news is, well, I still can't access the trading dock, so I need to get rid of the trading dock. Yeah. Uh, how much wood storage do I have? A little bit. Okay, we're gonna remove you. Hopefully someone along, somebody comes along and picks you up real fast. 
You do, because I'm perfectly stable on trucks, which means I have spares. Cool, perfect. Uh, can I get that filled in nice and square? All right, we have an awful lot of filling I need to do, so we might as well get started on that. All right, next thing I need to work a bit out is with uni hopefully sorted. We'll have to, well, wait for the next month. I'm now only spending one uni on fuel saver. I need to look at this problem. So this problem is an okay problem so far, except I'm sort of min-maxing as best as I possibly can. I'm really riding the edge. So we are, let's go with, let's go with electronics. Okay, I'm making 12 and 12, which is 24. Maintenance, which is very important, is using 12. Except I'm running at about 240 of the 480, so I'm only using about six here. But I'm also using, well, 12 here to make 24 lab equipment. The thing is, I don't need 24 lab equipment. You guys only run at 12. So I'm using half that, which means I'm using six here, plus I'm using about six here, which is about 12 total, plus I'm using six here. But I'm about to make that worse by using another six. Yeah. Okay. So I need to line this up and get you built because I'm going to need a whole lot more construction parts too for today's episode. On top of that, uh, that brings me to iron. Iron is a separate issue. I don't have enough iron either. I don't have enough power. We're going to get to power shortly. So iron is... Um, well, 15 being used here, plus 9, plus 9, 9 and 9 is 18, plus 15 is 32. And I'm producing, well, 24 and 24, and I'd be producing so much more if that little belt was built. Cool. Um, so I'm technically producing 48. But that gives me 12 mechanical parts. You need 24 mechanical parts. But don't forget, I said I'm running you at half speed, which means, well... I'm not running you at 24, I'm running you at 12, which you make 12, but also you need 12, which is halved, I need six. So I also need a machine in here to make more mechanical parts, which means I'm using 15, plus I'm using seven or 15, plus I'm using another 18. Um, so I'm well over my allocated uh, usage of iron, which is a whole separate problem. Uh, you could just have to be built, be built the old-fashioned way. Okay. Also have the power problem that I mentioned earlier. All right. Uh, and not enough uni, because we're also spending uni on the oil rig. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can see how um, on the border we are. And you have no iron. Okay. Can I make sure... First off, uh, you should be okay to import and export. You should be fine. You should be fine. Uh, you should be fine. You immediately get an error message because the lesson is when you take Jenny's blueprints, you don't modify them live. You think about what you're doing before you do it because uh, the box is here and uh, trucks can access. Go away. Trucks can reach two tiles. Uh, over here is four tiles. They can't reach that far, Jenny. They cannot reach that far. Therefore, uh, that belt needs to go away so they can reach the box. So they can put mechanical parts over here so we can have science. Can I have more science and more science? Cool. All right. So that's the one of the many problems I need to fix. Uh, let's reset because I don't have enough uni. All right. We're going to turn you off out. Right. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, high supply of wood. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Build that. Also build that at the same time. Mm, no, I'm not building, rebuilding the training dock just yet. Okay, all right, so, uh, is that now fixed? That is now fixed. Cool, as soon as I look at it, it goes away. All right, that's now fixed. So people can get in there, they can access that. All right, other things I need to talk about. Research, research. Game has had a couple of updates. Uh, things are being changed and rearranged in the research tree. Uh, of course, they're all research that I've already done, so it didn't save me anything. But now power generation gives you the flywheel at the same time, which is a very, very nice addition. Also, you get farms unlocked instantly. You don't actually have to research them anymore. I think you just get the research. Yeah. Uh, and a couple of other things were rearranged, but of course, none of them affect me because I've already done the research. So I've already put in the hard yards, research-wise. We're doing steel. Uh, well, actually, we're not doing steel. We're just doing everything here. I don't really care what it is. Uh, we'll add that to the list because I've obviously found some wheat seeds. We're going to do all this research. I can do all this research as well with our current tier of labs. The problem is just about everything from this point on requires me to have steel. And construction parts three. I don't have construction parts three. I also don't have steel. 
so it doesn't really help me yet. But um, it can be done, and we're probably going to end up doing a lot of this research before I can actually end up building a lot of this research because I have problems. First world problems. First world jetty problems. Also, that's not... I thought I fixed all this. Okay, it's now fixed. All right, so now we can make construction parts. Great, all right. First thing I need to deal with in today's episode is going to be storage. Okay, we've unlocked storage number two, which is going to be very, very important because I need to get a whole bunch of storage number two built. Okay, we're going to press the I button for the upgrade button. I don't have uni, so I'm going to have to wait for trucks to do this the old fashioned way. And we're going to go around, we're going to click on lots of things. First thing I want to upgrade is the one upgrade coal. Uh, both halves of coal. Now, coal has a empty task, which we're going to set to priority 10. And I'm going to drag that all the way down there. And you have a fill task at priority nine. And this is what I really want to demonstrate. Because this has only been told to fill two bars at priority nine, the trucks are filling this when required to this point. But because this has an empty bar at, it's now priority 10, I think it was priority nine beforehand, what's going to happen is whenever they, uh, whenever this has too much coal in it and they've worked their way down their priority list to priority number 10, they're going to pick up the coal from here and go put it in any other place where they can put coal, like right here, which is exactly what I want. I want to keep these buckets full if possible, but now they've been filled up the old fashioned way, I'm going to drag that up there as well. Okay, next thing I want to do is, I definitely want to make sure you're more on the empty side and you're more on the empty side. It's going to upset so many trucks. Uh, you're built. Uh, okay, can I set you up? Except uh, I'm going to be moving you over to here because although I really want this area cleared, I also desperately need this area cleared because if I need to more, build more housing, it needs to go right here. I've built myself in on this side. I've built myself in on this side. I've built myself in on this side. It has to go here, so I need to remove this bit of hill. Uh, I have marked the whole area where two houses would go plus two tiles. Yeah, and of course, as always, um... The mining designations and the housing never, ever, 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 ever lines up with the grid. I'm sure somebody's having a conniption right now. Uh, okay, so where are you? Can I have you prioritize dirt, please? Cool. You have a horrible job. At least your dump trucks have an all right job uh, because your fuel is nowhere near you. And I apologize, but frankly, there's nothing I can do about it. All right. So whilst the trucks are very busy because I'm giving them lots of things to do, we're going to make their life worse by upgrading those buckets. Okay, other buckets I wanna upgrade is the copper bucket. So I wanna upgrade this bucket and this bucket. I also wanna make sure the copper guys have one of you doing copper and one of you doing dirt. Okay, but at the moment there is no dirt being designated to be dug. So what I wanna do is uh, just drag this sort of like this whole area. Cause at the moment we're good on copper, but I'm not good on dirt being cleaned up. So can I edit area? Can I do all of actually probably do this in reverse do all of that cool now once uh arc dragon has finished digging out this tile worth of copper he will go looking for a new tile when he goes and looks for a new tile he'll go look for a dirt tile because that's what he's been told to do but i'm not that patient i really want the dirt gone now so what i can do is tell him to move to here at which point the copper that was in his bucket disappears and he goes and finds a new task which is dirt all the dirt needs to go. Also, all the shrubs. Rip out the shrubs too. All right. Uh, same thing I need to do over here. So at the moment we're digging iron. Uh, I want to do upgrade. I want to upgrade that iron bucket and that iron bucket. But I also want to have you guys dig a whole lot more dirt as well. So I want to mark out this area. And where we have... Uh, Florian. For, for Florian. Florian. Florian is marked for digging dirt. Uh, so we're going to make sure that Florian is over here removing dirt as best as possible. I don't want to remove the trees. I'd really like the trees to stay, but I want the dirt gone. Uh, all the dirt and the shrubs and the rocks. If if it exists, it can go. Uh, I don't need much more than that done right now. Uh, we can try anything under those buildings as well and through to there. All right. So, Florian, uh, you can come and do that as soon as you're free. Do I want to speed you up? No, I don't really need to speed you up. You can get there when you get there. All right. So I want iron to dig this one, copper to dig that one, dedicated diggy boy over here to clear off this dirt, dump it all on the sea, please. I need to have this finished off so we can actually get a dock built uh, for both trading and also for crude oil. Speaking of crude oil, that's what I thought. Uh, can I, sorry, load up crew. And can I send Mr. Shippy Shippy to there? Go load cargo. 
All right, so you're going to go off and get cargo. All right, so with that done, that done, that done, that done. All right, next thing I need to do is, like I said, I need to upgrade storages. I need to upgrade storages in a big way. So I want to have more iron. I want to have more copper. I want to have more uh, pencil. Pencil. I want to have uh, more coal. I also want to make sure that these are dragged in the correct directions because what well, the trucks are doing okay. Oh, actually, there was one other one I want to do desperately first, which is diesel. Diesel is super important. I'm going to upgrade you, upgrade you, and upgrade you. Uh, we're going to make sure that you're dragged all the way up, you're dragged all the way up, and you're, well, you're dragged down. So we force the crude oil out of here. Sorry, we force the diesel out of here to go to places where we need diesel. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Shippy, Shippy has over here no orders. That's fine. You're going to park here. When this is food, full of crude oil again, we am going to click the load button. We're just going to keep loading Mr. Shippy, Shippy full of crude oil. He has 200 barrels currently, or 2,000 barrels currently, and we're going to be just loading him, loading him and loading him and loading him. All right, next thing I need to do is, I, whether I like it or not, I'm going to need another power generator. I don't have another choice. I need to have this running. Uh, unpause, uh, priority four. Cool. Uh, because I'm missing parts one. I'm missing uni. 0.41 uni. Yeah, I'm missing uni. Not enough uni. Yep, okay. Cool. Uh, mining designations outside area. Don't okay. care. All right. So I need to upgrade these buckets. I need to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade the slag bucket as well and make sure the slag's dragged all the way down. I need to go to cement production and upgrade all of your buckets as well. All right. I also need to go to iron output, upgrade you. Copper output, upgrade you. I also don't make enough copper. So we have uh, 24 copper coming through, which is going to come through to here and give us 24 impure copper. Impure copper, wash it with water, which is the best option I have, which gives me 19 and a half copper. You use 12 and you use 12. 12 and 12 is 24. I'm making 19 and a half, which means even though we've sort of throttled our electronics right to the border, I'm not making enough of them still. So I need to also uh, make sure that you are priority number six or something. So even if we have a power issue, one of you works and I need to build all of that. I also have a second problem I need to deal with. Uh, and that is, well, I can't connect that into there because it's too close to another connector. And the game says no. So I need to make the devs unhappy with me, which is gonna be the, sort of the whole point of today's episode. And I need to force the issue. I'm going to force the issue by uh, building myself a little connector like so, and then pasting that over the top. Okay, I hate you too. All right, I'm going to need uni for this. Uh, quick remove and remove that. Cool. Then I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that there. Cool. And then we're going to build that. Build, 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 and oh really? You're kidding me. Highest priority. Done. All right, not enough workers. Mm, minus two. Minus two is a number. Uh, we can live without vehicle depot. Yeah, sure, turn off. All right, so uh, I now have twice the amount of copper coming in, twice the amount of copper going here, twice the amount of copper going down here, running this thing, which means I should be okay for copper to run our electronics, should be. Also means that these things use 400, meg uh, 400 kilowatts worth of power each, and well, I'm burning up awful lot of power. Burning awful lot of power to make an awful lot of electronics, to make an awful lot of uh, boxes upgrade to the next tier, because they all require electronics, which sucks, at least for me. Okay, so we've got you running, we've got you running, we should be producing more iron and more copper. I should be happy, I'm anything but happy, because I still need to go around with the upgrade button. I also want to upgrade iron in, I also want to upgrade electronic storage, and rubber, and copper, and mechanical parts, and wood, and bricks, and construction parts one, and construction parts two. Wow, all right. Uh, each one of these is like 15 parts two, which is 15 electronics with another 15 electronics. So um, the electronic assemblers need to work overtime for a very, very long time before we're gonna catch up. But eventually we'll catch up. It also means that I'm gonna be a little bit short on construction parts two for a bit which sort of sucks because I need to get into power generation. Now, power generation. We need to talk about power generation, how power generation works, and why you haven't cleared this hill yet. They're done, they're done, they're done. Uh, no, can I do you and you as well? Can I also do you and you? And can I do you and you? Cool. 
All right, I've hit upgrade on all the things that need to have upgrades. No headphones. Please work harder and faster. All right, power generation. Let's talk about power generation really quickly. Okay, what I want to do is I want to get into a high pressure turbine. Now, if I throw down one of these, you need to have 24 steam. And that's gonna be six, meg six megawatts with mechanical power. Now, to get steam, I need to get uh, a boiler. A boiler is going to boil water and create steam, which means I'm gonna have 48 water in for 48 steam out. You're only gonna use 24 of it, so obviously need two of those guys. And that's gonna be my little power generator, okay? That's good step number one. Now, step number two is I need to turn mechanical power into electrical power, which is a separate problem entirely. Why are you so bad? Oil rig research labs because I don't give you electricity. That's why you're so bad. Yeah, I'm flat on uni, like absolutely flat. The only thing I can do is disable one, one lab. Party 15, and you know what? I'm just going to pause you because you're going to also ease up the power a little bit. Just a tiny bit. All right. So. Uh, okay, now you need slowly going out. Very slowly. Okay. So I need to have two high pressure turbines. Okay. With my two high pressure turbines, I then need to convert the mechanical power to electrical power. We do that in a power generator, obviously. Uh, now you create six megawatts worth of mechanical power, you consume three megawatts worth of mechanical power to give me two megawatts worth of electricity. So obviously for every one of these, I need to have, have two of these, okay. And I need to have two of these for every one boiler. So that means automatically I'm gonna need four of these guys. Great, we've got a plan, we've got a plan. Now, what's gonna happen is we're gonna boil steam. Boil water creates steam. Steam's gonna come into the turbine and it's gonna spin the shaft, okay. It's always good to have a shaft. It's always good if you somebody plays with the shaft, it's even better if somebody's spinning the shaft. Now. If somebody's spinning on your shaft, well, that has to go somewhere. And that's going to go into the power generators, which is fine, providing you need the power. At the moment, I need 3.3 .3 megawatts worth of power. You're going to make two. You're going to make two. Well, I now need four, so that's okay. We're going to run the other one at a little bit of speed. So we consume a little bit of mechanical power and turn a little bit, a little bit of electrical power. But I don't need all the power. So what I can do is put a flywheel on the end. Now, a flywheel is just a big battery. It's a conservation of uh, mechanical force, uh, centrifugal force, uh, perpetual motion, not perpetual motion. Um, I forget. Physics. Motion. Does it say on here? Inertia. It will store inertia. That's the word. It's not really the word I'm, I'm looking for, but it's close. All right, it'll store inertia. And what's going to happen is it's going to add 500 megawatt seconds worth of mechanical power inside a big flywheel. A big flywheel is essentially, it's made out of iron. It's a big chunk of iron that spins around. It ain't too complicated. Now, people have asked me over and over and over, how many flywheels do I need in my shaft? And the answer is, if I have a shaft, I want as many things right in my shaft as possible. But uh, that's not always viable because there's only so much room on the island. So. My answer is generally two. The correct answer is you need to store as much power as possible between the 20% mark and the 80% mark that your high pressure turbine has enough time to get up to speed before you run out of power. So I think these turn on at like 40%, 50%. percent i do not know. I'm, I'm gonna link, there's a video I did on power generation. I'm gonna link it up in the top right hand corner. The concept's the same. I think all the power got doubled between early access and now. So all the numbers are doubled, but it still holds true on all the core concepts. So what you need is you need to have enough flywheel energy stored for you to get up to speed. And what I mean when I get up to speed is when they first turn on, they start consuming 24 high pressure steam, but they ain't making six, mechanical, uh, six megawatts with mechanical power. They're making zero because they're going slow. And they need to get up to speed. And that's what this efficiency bar is. Now, what we can do is we can turn on auto balance. Auto balance means once the shaft is full of power, they turn off. And that's gonna be very, very important to what we need to do. But even with a power plan outlined and remotely set up, sort of set up, like this is basically what we want, 
Uh, I have one more giant problem. By one more giant problem is you need coal and you need water. Coal looks to be recovered. Coal looks to be good. All the buckets seem to be full of coal. Your output bucket, it's full. It's getting there. Coal seems to be great. Water, whole separate issue. Now, in the game, we have a couple of ways of getting water. Uh, obviously, research. Let's go with research first. We're researching it right now. This is basic desalination. We can take in some seawater, add some coal. Uh, we basically boil off the water and, and and then condense it back from steam back into water, all inside of one building. And it gives us water and it gives us brine. Basically, really, really, really salty seawater, which we can dump back in the sea. And that's going to give us exhaust as well. Now, I could build one of these, but I have to build it on the coastline. The seawater pump's gonna require power. I don't really have power currently. Also requires construction parts, all sorts of things that I don't really have. I also would have water at the coastline and I'm not really at the coastline over where I'm planning to build power. It's also where I'm planning on building oil. So I need a different solution. Yeah, different solution comes in a couple of different ways. I can put a rainwater harvester. These would be great. What happens when they rain? Like right now we could collect rainwater. The problem is, you're going to collect, on average, 3.5 rainwater. On average, you're going to be using potentially 48. That's a lot of rainwater harvesters. I have a lot of room. So that's not really a viable option. All right. My third option is groundwater pump. Now, groundwater pump's a great idea. It requires a little bit of power, a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of people. But what we can do is exactly what we've done here. We can pump up groundwater, which sounds great except this one catch. It's a minor catch, it's a small catch, and that is the reserve is um, limited. And as you can see, it's going down right now. But when it rains, it'll refill, and that'd be great. But generally, my rule of thumb, it's not an exact science. It, it depends on your difficulty, it depends on seasonal as well, because there are some seasons, years, that are drier than other years. Um, there's a bit of randomization or pseudo-randomization built in the game, so trying to get an exact number is very difficult. But the long and the short of it is, I generally recommend two groundwater pumps per reserve. And I'm sort of using two. Now, you might say, Jenny, but you might have two there, but they're not working. Like, we can see this one. It's not really working. It pretends to work every now and then, and it stops. It's true. You are making 48 water. With that 48 water, I'm currently using six and six, but I'm going to use six and six more eventually. So it's going to be you 12 which means i have about 36 left over plus a whole nother rainwater pump i know there's, there's there's more water there in theory are you digging no let me guess you're all full of nobody's emptied the bucket because we're all extremely busy yep we're all extremely busy okay all right so i have 36 water plus a whole nother pump now that water comes over here and that water, when it comes over here, I'm using six and six. So I'm now down to 24 clean water left over, which is okay. 24 is a number, 24 is a respectable number. And then also on the same pipe, I have, well, uh, the water facility of the town, which is another 24 water. So I have basically no water left over, but I do have the second pump. The second pump that's providing 48 clean water. Uh, the problem is, um, well, you guys turn on your irrigation like so. And when you turn on the irrigation, you use potentially 27 water and potentially 36 water, which is more than 60, which is more than what that little guy's pumping. Now, it only happens when it's dry for a little while and the soil dries out a little bit, and then the irrigation system has to turn on. So it's not constant. It really happens when it doesn't rain, which is a bit of a problem as well. I don't really have any clean water left, which means I could either risk putting down another one of these guys, you know, just, just one more, or I can have Mr. Sheepy Sheepy load up with crude oil, or I have another option, okay? Another option, another great option, and that is I take one of these and I go to a water spot like this one here, and I pop it down there. And then with the power of Unity, previously I'd have a button here that says build this right now. But the devs thought, and I fully agree with them for the record, If you before you get angry in the comments, I fully agree that they removed this button. They removed this button because they felt it was a little bit cheaty because I have no way of getting to this water supply. Not anytime soon, okay? Uh, where are we? Yeah, this is up here. I have no way of getting up there. Now, with the power of unity, you can accomplish much, but that's maybe too much. That removes a giant challenge of this map. And it doesn't just remove it once, it removes it twice, and there's a third one over there. 
So it removes it a few different ways. The other challenge that they removed at the same time, which again, I fully understand, I fully agree with, is um, we're pumping our way through crude oil. We're pumping our way through crude oil pretty good. We're going through that crude oil. We're down to 50%. Now, I do have Mr. Shippy Shippy out, who is loading up with crude oil and has 4,000 barrels, 4,420 barrels. Not, 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 not nice. Yep, okay. He's loading up with crude oil. Now, I have another crude oil deposit on this map. It's over here. And I could drop this here. And it had a button to build with uni. And I could have just built you with uni and then started tapping into this 50,000 pile of crude oil as well. And then I could have taken a pipe and I they've left this in because I, I agree this one should exist and run a pipe all the way around the island or all the way over the top of the island. Like you, you had options, you have lots of options. And technically I can dig a path through the side of the island or dump right on the coastline and get myself a path all the way across here to get a truck over here to build on this crude oil patch. But, but I agree. It was a little bit cheaty. It, 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 it sort of it sort of removed the large challenge of some of the maps, okay? Some of the maps really exploit this, other maps not so much. So I agree that it should have been removed. So uh, they are my options for water. And what I'd like to do is I think I want to go with um, the rainwater harvester method. Yeah, I think this is the method we're going to use, okay? Now, I know space is limited, okay? But hear me out. If we take two of these and put them side by side and then put another two... Oh, you need to move up the top. There you go. Another two side by side. And then I get a pipe and I start from the very edge and we go into here and then into here and then into here. I need to make sure you're all facing the right way. Perfect. Cool. Uh, shop. In this side, out that side. Okay. I can put down these. And this would give me a, like a little tank. They got their own little internal tank of 30 water. And then each pipe is going to have a tank as well. It, it sort of serves as a bit of a tank. And I can have a very realistic solution to save some water. Because I do not want to burn through this water deposit. Because if, if I do, I don't have any water at all. Which means copper stops. The people stop. The food stops. We have so many more problems. So, I think this is our solution. I'm just going to cut this because I don't want to put it there. Like Maybe in the coal mine. That'd probably be an all right spot for it. Um, but then again, I don't really have a lot of room inside the pass. But I do have a lot of room like here where I could probably plop that uh, like here. And then like here. And then like here. And probably one there. I only got one there. That's not terribly good. But, you know, we can start a new row. I could put this really in the trees. And we get three out of four. And then I get another three. And then, uh, no, that's too dense. Uh, up, up, right here. We could do another. Ooh, uh, let's go high. Uh, let's go with just, just three out of four. Yeah, we get three out of four there. And then come to here and I could go, you know, another ooh, four and another three and another two, two. I'll, I'll take two i'll take two and up up right here uh three three two no how about that direction like the devs have not made it easy between the trees the uneven terrain like i'm not gonna get a lot of these oh three three perfect three okay bring it three here oh 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 i got all four that's impressive and then we could get some like there's a bump there's a bump that's just annoying. There is a good chance when I build this, like it will flatten out the bump. That, that's possible. Uh, can I just get yeah, one tail gap so I can weave that pipe through? And uh, can I get, ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, we'll go there and we'll go there. And like I said, I fully agree that the devs should have removed the ability for us to just put pumps anywhere on the map. It just cheeses the map too much. Uh, this is gonna cost me a shit ton of construction parts. And also, um, well, rainwater catches require wood, like epic amounts of wood, like heaps of wood. And most people don't have a lot of wood stored up. Don't have an awful lot of wood stored up. Unless you're on a tight map where you don't really want to sell the wood because you don't really want to set up wood planting because you don't have any room on the map. So you've decided just to store up all the wood for right now and the storage keeps filling up. You have to keep building more storage. So if I didn't have to build more storage because I can put the wood somewhere else, like in a rainwater catcher, 
then that'd work great for me. Um, but also on this map, like there's a whole nother starting zone down here, which I can fit a few. And then there's this side where I can fit a few more. So we should be good, but I do need to have a few things. Uh, one thing is I'm going to have, need to have this pipe run that direction. And then I also need to have a pipe. Well, come down the mountainside. So what I want to build is uh, what I, I think I coined the term in the last series, um, the, the, the creator series, update one. If you haven't seen that, you can't wait for the next episode to come out. Uh, by all means, I'll link it up top right hand corner uh, for the creator series, which was a um, different map. It looked like a giant hole in the ground and I chose to build the town in the bottom of the town and then everything went fine until I was accused. I was accused, it was, it was sacrilege of uh, laundering and stealing all the gold on, that we were digging up from the mountain. Well, the side of the crater. It, 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 long story, long story. You, you, you should you should check it out if you're at all curious. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna bring this down to here. Yeah, like like here somewhere. Cool. And then, um, can I move you to like here? Yeah, give myself a little bit of room. Okay, now, uh, once I get down here, I should definitely have some tanks. Uh, so we should have storage. Uh, I, I'd like to build the tier two tanks, but um, frankly, construction parts, actually construction parts are awesome. Why are construction parts awesome? Okay, uh, upgrade, upgrade. Oh, hang on, no, let's not do that. You know, I want those construction parts. Okay, is everything that should be upgraded, upgraded? You have no copper. You have no iron. Why do you not have... Because you're full? Okay. You are also allowed to know about this copper bucket. Uh, and you are going to be not assigned only. Is it mixed? It's just dirt. Oh, it's the dirt guy. Oh shit. Oh, we need to fix that. Okay. Uh, can I build mind control tower? Uh, we're gonna dump you right here. Cool. Uh, you're gonna be just dirt. Uh, we're gonna call you the dirty tower. Uh, and in fact, I'm gonna put you over here. Cool. Uh, we're gonna build you. We're going to also uh, allocate that area to just you. We're also going to allocate this area to everybody else. Okay, so the dirty tower is just in charge of that little bit. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to make sure that not that one, but this one. Yeah. Uh, if you have dirt, just dirt, you can drive over there and dump it. Uh, you don't seem to have the same problem. Holy shit, they've done the whole area. Uh, I was shot by a tile. Okay. Uh, in that case, can you... Oh, actually, I'm short on iron, aren't I? Yeah, I'm short on iron. Uh, never mind. You go to digging iron as fast as you possibly can. Yep. Uh, I have three trucks, two excavators. Sort of want to give you another excavator. Um, coal. Coal is sorted. Okay. I'm going to pull one off you. And therefore, two off you. And put you here with that one. Uh... Turn that off for half a second. Empty your load. Cool. Turn that back on. All right. Uh, no headphones. No headphones. Harvest trees. Voila. Go. All right. So, back to our problem. Back to our problem. First off, I need a vehicle ramp. I know. We're all over the place. All right. I need a vehicle ramp right here. We're going to build that. Cool. I have not a lot of uni. I have 10 uni. Okay. That's going to be a problem. All right. I want to bring a pipe. Because although I'm going to have lots of water. Like, crap. You're off by tile. Whatever. Uh, although I'm going to have lots of water, lots of water caused by the gods of rain, uh, they're going to cost, well, two things. Uh, an awful lot of wood. Like, an awful lot of wood. 
I'm gonna have wood problems for a very long time. Also, a whole lot of construction parts. Also, probably more importantly than any of that, a whole lot of uni. Because you may notice that there is no way for the trucks to get up there to actually build this stuff. Uh, so what I need to do is I need to provide a backup water source, which is exactly what we're doing. So we're going to have a transport. Uh, we're going to have a... No, I don't care about you. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. You, 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 or you. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a U-shaped balancer. No, not a U-shaped balancer. I want a pipe balancer. That's the one. Cool. I want you to plug in there. Yeah, we're going to get into flat conveyors in the future, but it's going to be in the future when I am not dead poor. Uh, and I can afford more power, like after the generator runs. Okay. Uh, I need a storage. 30? Yeah, we're going to build the storage. Okay. I need storage. I need to bring the water in here. In there. Cool. I also need to bring water into there. And you're going to make sure you're the priority. Okay. With that done, I'm going to make sure that we build this. Uh, including the um, goat pipe that's going to build down the mountain very quickly. Cool which i don't know how much you hold uh not to have some liquid in there okay uh we're also gonna get just a few of these started just just no we're not gonna have enough uni okay this is gonna be my problem i'm not gonna have enough uni like it's only two and a half uni to build each one uh, but as you may have noticed i might have built one or two yeah all right so uh oh there's the rain there's the rain gods on time perfect uh can we quick deliver no you okay all right rain Right. Okay. You hold 167 water. I got to remember a small tank holds 180. So there is equivalent of a small tank right here in the pipe. Yeah. All right. Uh, so after I've done that, I need to get my steam, uh, which is going to come to there, uh, upper tile, and then plug into there. And then also plug into there. Great. Uh, also need to bring out my low pressure steam, which is absolutely useless to me for right now. Please. Cool. I need you to stay at the same height for at least one tile and then you can come down and then for right now i can't do anything with it so can i get rid of all these things uh we're gonna put you into a smokestack cool and we're gonna plug you into the exact same pipe all right and then i need to ha also have coal so we want to have a storage uh loose storage i want to have one storage two storage hmm and it'll be fine all right, uh, yes, and I want you to be coal. Uh, I want you to be keep full, uh, which is going to turn it to on, so trucks can now import coal here. I want us to set this to priority four. And then this one's also going to be coal. And I'm going to drag that up, and I'm going to set you to import priority six. Yeah, uh, trucks can export. No, they're not allowed to take coal out of either of these boxes. And we're going to make sure that you are plugged into no i need to leave a pile so i can get into those balances if i need to and we're going to build those guys and we're going to build that and we're going to build that and we're going to build you and we're going to build you and we're going to build you that's the bare minimum i need to have a power generator running i'm going to turn you off and i'm going to another smokestack which we're going to put right here cool all right so I didn't have this built. Uh, I also have four uni, which means I need to go to the top of my hill and build another one of these guys. And water-wise, we have 44 in the pipe and 28 in here and nothing in there. So I made all of 60 water. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a very good exploit. But it is an exploit, and I'm going to use it. Uh, you, water-wise, you're a party in. And then everything's a party out. Uh, technically, I want this to be a higher priority. Technically. Uh, also, shippy, shippy, shippy. Sorry, I forgot. I need to load up more crude oil. All right. So, coal should get yeeted over there as fast as possible. And fill these guys. Now, you broke. Okay. Set you back up. Priority four. Import. Priority six import. Now, the reason these have two different priorities, and I have the first bucket sitting in the second bucket, is if this bucket, this bucket is normally going to be, like, you know, being topped up all the time. So it's always going to have a priority six job. But if this is not full, and when I say full, I mean crammed to the gills, full, then you're going to put an emergency job out there. Priority four, get this damn thing filled now. That's what I really want. I want it filled now. So although we're still extremely busy, which is not good. Uh, last three months, it is turn off that, turn off that, turn off that. I want general jobs. 
it is just a lot of jobs and not nearly enough trucks. Okay, can I mitigate some of this? Uh, no for iron. Iron's actually okay. We are still moving iron plate across and we're moving copper across, which doesn't help. And I'm moving stuff over here as well to fill these up to make science run, which is not helping. And we just mass make construction parts and dump them everywhere, which is also not not helping. Yeah, I'm just at the point I need more trucks. I just need more vehicles outright. Okay, uh, can I go to probably here? Uh, flip that pipe, flip that pipe. Flip that pipe and we're going to run you into the same pipe. Oh, uh, 1.2 uni, 0.1 uni, 2.5, can't afford it. Uh, 0.4. Alright, and a 2.5 uni, and then we can do that. And uh, like, it is going to take me, what is it, 10 months? 10 months and my current uni income to be able to afford one brain catcher. Uh, I'm so tempted to click that. I can't, I can't. I need the uni for other things. Uh, I also need these to be full and they're not full, which implies there's actually no coal. Uh, did we forget what coal looks like? Okay. Uh, in that case... Can I cancel that, and cancel that, and cancel that, and do a flat, and then do an angle? It's time to go into the ground. Guys, move here. Move here. Move there. There's only three of you. Like, Cole was doing great, and then suddenly there's none of it. All right, uh, so we're going to do power generation two, done. Uh, we're going to do mechanical power storage, which used to be two separate research, it's no longer. We have new refugees, that's nice. Uh, steel smelting, we don't have. Uh, food market two. Food market two is not a bad idea because it's stole more potatoes. So we can click that button as well. All right, coal power plant. Uh, we have completed that 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 task. So we click the collect button. Cool. Uh, that gave me 80 construction parts, which means I have 200 and something, which means I'm going to need a... Yeah, I'm gonna do the whole lot. Uh, we're gonna build the pipe. We're gonna build you, which is 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. No, 120, 120. All right, so I have enough to build the whole power generator. Uh, okay, so what I wanna do, and this is probably important, we're gonna unpause you, and we're gonna start you up. Yeah, you're gonna start making steam. That's gonna go in the generator. Generator's gonna start spinning, excellent. Any time now. Spin. Cool. Efficiency is going to go up. Whilst the efficiency is crap, we're not making any power. Bad. Have to get over this red line to actually start making power. It's like the minimum threshold. It's also when we have it to hit 100%. Then you guys can start spinning. Now, the other important thing is your power priority number six. Our old diesel generators are power priority number 11, which means these are going to automatically turn off. They're not going to need to run if these guys are running. The other important thing is, like, I currently have them both running, which means I am filling up that megaseconds bar so fast. I'm actually going to turn on auto balance. Auto balance means after this is full enough, you'll stop burning steam. Therefore, you'll stop putting mechanical power onto the shaft. And it means that my minimum power, the minimum power I can make in this system is going to be two megawatts. So, that, well, four megawatts. You and you, because both of you are connected to this, which means I have to make at least four megawatts worth of power. Also means, if I happen to be not needing four megawatts, like right now, the excess powers are going to go into the flywheel, which sort of means I need another flywheel up and running. Also sort of means I need more iron. Where is my iron, guys? It's right here. You have an export of 10. You have an import of... I have no coal. It's a no coal problem. Because all the coal is currently going to the power generator, which means I don't have any iron to finish building the power generator. Oh boy. Okay. Once I get 20 more bits of iron. Fine enough, I can't trade for iron. Okay. Once I get 20 more bits of iron, uh, you'll get built. And my plan is 
that I'm going to hopefully stay around about four megawatts. So if I don't need the extra power, it's going to go into the flywheel. Yes. And if I do need the excess power, i.e. we're over four megawatts, it's going to come off the flywheel. I'm going to build a second one because generally that's the right ratio. And then I'm probably going to even build a third. Definitely going to build a third. I'm going to build a third. Uh, just so I have a bit of slop. An awful lot of slop in this system. I think I'm going to need a lot of slop in this system because I'm just doing things sort of the bad way. Also means that, yes, I'm going to get some, some, some free water from the rain. And, um... Well, as long as the tank doesn't run out, technically it's free water, which means I'm not pulling off my water supply, which hopefully means that I don't strap this dry, because that would be bad. But what I do know is I need to leave this episode here. Uh, I am definitely out of time. I also need to maybe nick another diggy boy and shove him over here, because coal's still really important. It's going to continue being important until we get advanced oil, but I'm nowhere near ready to get advanced oil. I need to get a dock over here, which is not even built yet. Uh, and I cannot mind. I think I can build it. Yeah, whatever. We'll cover it in the next episode. Uh, either way, I'm going to leave this video here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I do hope the devs do not get too pissed at, um, well, the little tricks that I pull on their wonderful game. Either way, like I said, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in, well, the very next video. All right, bye.